Hi, my name is Chris, and this video is an experiment with prime numbers that I ran on Excel using VBA. Um, now, I want to start by saying that I'm not a professional mathematician or anything, I'm just a dabbler. I've always been interested in uh, prime numbers, and I decided to experiment with uh, prime numbers moving about um, a two-dimensional area. Their movement based on the difference between the prime numbers. Now you see here the overall picture that emerged with the first prime numbers beginning with 3 and ending with 9,887. Now if you see here there's a red circle to your upper right and a blue circle to the lower left. The red circle represents the numbers that I started with, uh, 3, 5, 7, and so, so on, and the highest number, 9,887, is in the blue circle on the lower left. Now, the basis I used for movement was a pattern based on the difference between the prime number in question and the previous prime number and the difference between them. For example, if you look at the bottom, that 5 is 2 greater than the previous prime number 3, so that's a 2 difference which means that the arrow moves upwards. Now if you look at 11, 11 is 4 greater than the previous prime number 7, in which case the difference is 4 and the arrow moves to the left. 6 moves down and 8 moves to the right. So based on this pattern of, move, of movement I had the numbers moving around each other in a pattern. However I didn't want to have overlap so well, for example if we start with uh, 37 on this picture you'll see that uh, it couldn't move in the lower space from 31 because it was already occupied by 23. So I simply had um, the motion jump any existing numbers until it hit the first free space and then populated there. So 31 jumped down to 37, skipping the two numbers below it. So using this basic pattern, I created the larger overall pattern. This is a close-up of the earlier numbers. and as you see they move in a general direction from right to left indicating a predominance of the number four uh, if uh, for example the number between two prime numbers was larger than eight for example if it was twelve then I would simply subtract eight until I had a number that was eight or smaller and then I would use that number so for example if you had one prime number that was twelve greater than the previous then I would use 4. So using this overall pattern I generated this picture starting from the right upper hand corner where the red circle is and moving in the sweeping wave-like pattern down to the lower left and I thought it was interesting the large predominance of the number 4 appearing in the overall pattern. There also seems to be a slight uh, predominance of the number 6 indicated by a general downward mo movement and I would be interested in seeing how this pattern plays out on a much larger scale with a longer list of numbers I only use this up to um, roughly 10,000 so I would be interested to see uh, if this pattern continues onwards and with much larger prime numbers if you're interested in seeing the VBA script for this um, pattern, then I'm going to put it on the screen here. This is the first set of instructions, and the bottom part is here if you're interested in looking at it. If anybody's interested in responding to this video with another video showing the pattern for the larger set of prime numbers, then I would be very interested in seeing that. Thank you.